Hey there, my fellow royal family. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Norlin. Episode 12, Betrothed. So after three Bandit Camp clearings, they can finally come home. And the good news is, most of my neighbors are very happy as a result of all of the, um, all the clearings that I did. So I wouldn't mind trying to resolve Moon Lake and Wind Peaks differences. Uh, and Averin seems to be, it seems to be a good time to do it. So we'll head over to Moon Lake and praise the Wind King. Doesn't look like there's anyone new to marry off, but you know, every day people start to age up, so we might have um, different wedding opportunities soon. It also wants me to marry off uh, Averin, but like, mm, no. I'm gonna ignore that entirely. Oh, Stardale, the Stardale King died. Good. Good riddance. Alright, Morrow got seriously ill again. Are you the smallpox again? I guess we can just have to... Uh, we, we'll just retreat. We still have a little bit of salve left. To try to stave off blindness or uh, death. And Averin's heading up to Moon Lake to spread the smallpox up there. That's not how it works, but it does seem like it, doesn't it? Okay, learn some temple. Let's learn herbalism. Uh, what happened? Conflict between neighbors and request for assistance. So, Wind Peak uh, and the. This is between Wind and Star. So, these two are fighting one another. They're at odds again. And then the request for assistance is from whom? Now, forget you. Vassal Uprising? Yeah, Uprise on your own. So I don't care about that. So the conflict between neighbors I might want to resolve. The problem is they're both of my allies, so it's a little bit of a tricky situation. Um, Averin is just leaving Moon Lake, having um, paid them a visit. Although I can have her turn around and spend some more time. Um, what I was doing there is I was uh, having her speak kindly of Wind Peak so that I might be able to uh, invite Wind Peak or invite Moon Lake into the Alliance. Uh, Moon Lake still doesn't love Wind Peak, but it could be worse. Um, what does Liva feel? Oh, I see. Liva hates the Wind King, so mortal enemy. Got it. Um, who to start? Who decide with? So there's Star Stream. And Wind Peak. Uh, currently, my relationship between them, Wind Peak is at uh, plus. Great, it bled off this. Uh, hold on, let me try to adjust my UI. I can't even read it. I, I mean, I guess I could do the math. Come on. Oh, it's not even telling me now. <laughs> what the hell? It would help if you gave me numbers. <laughs> okay, I don't know. Because it's refusing to tell me now. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. How about that? I wonder if it's in here somewhere. I don't see it anywhere else. Well, whatever. I mean, you, you can pick blindly. I only put my UI scale back to the way it was. Um... Uh, 
So we have to side with one of them. If we don't side with either of them, it's more of a negative consequence. So it's minus nine for both if we side with neither. And it's minus uh, 12 and plus 12 if we side with one over the other. And I'm going to do a quick uh, save and load because it seems like my UI got blown up there. Where I can't see foreign relationship policies anymore. My best guess is that our relationship with WinPeak is stronger. So siding with Starstream would be a little bit more beneficial to keep things equal. But if we want to pick sides, then signing with Wimpeak makes more sense. Uh, so let's see if that UI has been fixed. Uh, so what is that? Negative uh, 23 and plus 15, 24, uh, 31. And then for Starstream, it's actually in the negatives. Negative 3 total, so... Looks like you guys want me to start side with Starstream, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Conflict between neighbors, support the Star King. How old is the Star King? My lord. 55? Man, he is old. You live to about like 60 in the game, or so. I feel like this doesn't even need me to resolve anything. I can just wait for the Star King to die. But alright, there you go. Star King it is. Uh, we do have a little bit of hopelessness that is pretty resolvable. So I'm going to grab another dorm or two. Make it two. Didn't I just clear this forest band camp? Like, pretty recently? They're already back? Like, I'm not even done being marching home from destroying that camp and they're back. They're like cockroaches, huh? Alright. Conflict between neighbors or success. So taking a look, we are now negative like four with Wind Peak and plus nine with Starstream. But picking a side, even if it doesn't seem to be ideal, um, is better than not picking sides at all. So I would like to give my soldiers a little bit of time to rest because they have infected wounds. Unfortunately, the infected wounds require a medical salve and the medical salve is being used um, we're, you know, we're using medical salve for the, um, uh, f for, uh, for the smallpox. So our medical salve is just completely being used up. And ambition is achieved. We hit the population goals in order for Avaran to, uh, to become a good ruler, which is good. Not only that, but Colin has a desire to see Averin, and Averin's about to get home, so that's going to be an easy desire to fulfill. As it's factors that I directly control, which is nice. Yeah, our medical salve is just being absolutely drained. Because of the, uh, wounded soldiers. So Averin, now that you're home, let's have you spend time with Colin. Your son. He would very much like that. He's already had his desire fulfilled, but I might as well just like continue to spend time with him. How many rings does he have? Oh, only six. I think he lost some gambling and then just gained them back so we did just get the herbalist um knowledge and the herbalist allows you to collect uh, herbs i have 46 herbs i have quite a lot so i don't really need to build herbal herbalism but if you wanted to build herbalism there's only really one place to do it which is like down here um 
which is kind of a long way to go. So you would want like a home near there and you'd want a warehouse near there and it requires a lot of infrastructure like that. So I'm going to leave that alone for now. I only really learned it so that I might be able to get alchem alchemy as a, a follow-up um, uh, book to be sold. We had a bunch turned to crime. Oh, time to punish. Stupid criminals. I'm not undercutting the Yeah, no, I'm not undercutting the market anymore. So this is just this is just an unemployment crime. And one is Kaiden, which is actually kind of useful to have at least one Kaiden still in your colony at all times, so that you can um, have the executioners at the scaffold constantly harass them, because everyone likes it. Sometimes it's nice to have uh, someone in the stocks to throw cabbage at, right? It's basically what that's about. God, Fena, you keep losing dice games. You're gonna not have any rings left. You have five rings? How old are you? 44? Okay, never mind. I was like, hey, if you're young enough, I could marry. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna check the ages of, um... Oh, you know what? I don't actually know their age. I just know that they're under 18. So... It's hard to know their actual age to know if any anyone's going to be able to marry up anytime soon. But what I could do is, um... I can continue to... Um... To assess the situation and the re-poll whether uh, Salama is going to be the best candidate or not. Colin had an inspiration! So he has plus five to all skills. As he's been in a really good mood for a long time. Wow, he is teaching 17. Wow, that's, uh, okay. <laughs> and everyone's happy that the Star <laughs> Stardell King died. Well, whatever makes you happy, I suppose. I live with it. All right, world summary. Treewood has a bride to be married off. And there is this prison, uh, this um, bandit camp still. Uh, it's not very big. So Rotoslava, we've already looked at. She's, uh, she's Kaiden. I wouldn't want to consider that. There's a lord ready to leave here. 36 years old. So, and also Kaiden, not that interested. And Wing King... <laughs> wants me to assassinate someone from Starstream? I think not gonna be doing that. Something tells me. So it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to incorporate Moon Lake anytime soon into um uh into our alliance, just because they're at such odds with Windpeak. But there will be a chance once Windpeak's leader dies off that maybe that can be resolved. Because they they hit the leader. They don't really hate the nation. The the opinion of the nation is um is pretty neutral it's only minus two it's it's um liva the queen actually i should call her moon queen it's moon queen's relationship with wind peak the wing king which is in unreconcilable as you can see uh so let me let me actually go through all the leaders and make sure that the leaders are named properly so that i can identify them so the crystal king is still the crystal king you are the star Start a queen. Enchantment. Still the Inch King. Great Mist is... Uh, you need to be named. Great Queen. It makes you sound more important than you really are. Moon Realm. You are the Moon King. There's Moon R Lake and Moon Realm. So you're going to be the Mooner King. Because you pull your pants down. And then the tree king. Yep. Alright. Uh, at least I did that. Oh, 
Oh, Fena. You just keep losing all your rings in dice games. You have zero rings left. Quit gambling. You degenerate. <laughs> D <laughs> you don't even have degenerate gambling as a trait. You've just been degenerate gambling your rings away because you have an intelligence of two. So you don't win dice games? <laughs> so you're ringless. I almost feel bad. We took all your rings. There's actually a negative consequence of that. Oh god, and uh, Averine is super suffering that negative consequence. So the negative consequence is if you have too many rings, it can actually affect your um, personality. Uh, and, and make you greedy as a result of uh, acquiring so many rings. So I probably need to get rid of some of Averine's, Averine's rings. So I am going to reward Colin, her son, with more rings so that she doesn't have a giant mass of rings that she just keeps winning from gambling with the idiot. <laughs> it's just a really funny problem to have. Uh, the other thing I could do is... Hmm. Nope, I just ran out of wood. I was gonna consider building some new farms for all the unemployed that we have, because we have so many unemployed. The problem is, like, everyone in the colony right now, or in the city, is really happy, and most of the happiness is a result of actually persecuting the Kaiden. Um, so the happiness is causing more migration, but I don't have, like, meaningful work for them to do. So they keep migrating, but there's nothing for them to do. So they just get up to trouble, essentially. I mean, I, I suppose I could conscript them and, like, have them go march out as, like, naked archers and... But I don't, I don't think that would be that meaningful. Um... I wouldn't mind getting more rye fields up, though. So maybe what I'll do is, um, I will start rutabaga fields outside of this region. Because rutabaga fertility is, is pretty fine. Uh, so, I think... Oh, I know what I could do. I could build a warehouse down here. And build rye fields down here. So that's what I'll do. Let's build a road. Oh, a new copy. Oh, so Colin just uh, fulfilled his... Oh, wait, wasn't his desire to see Averin? So I guess his desire changed, because he took so long to write that book. So it's a spare book that I can now sell. And the Mooner King just died. Well, that was short-lived. I named him and then he died, like, moments later. Rip. Oh, and here comes the trader. So, just in time to at least sell the book. That timing was good. Prisoners being sold. That helps keep our economy afloat. And looking to buy Alchemy Lab for sure. So Alchemy Lab allows us to start brewing our own medical salves. And uh, that's been a bit of a problem with it for us. Continual thorn in our side. And I'll buy whatever salves they have for sale too. And let's also sell that spare book. So, selling the spare book almost keeps us uh, breaking even. And then the new book that we just got, so the... Uh, let's learn that with Backroad. So that we can start brewing our own uh, selves. Good moves there, I think. So, taking a look at Brides to Marry Off, Salama is still up. Salama's dowry is relatively expensive. Um, but we would have a familial link to Mo Moon Lake, whether that's wise or not. So, should I consider marriage or should I wait? It's not like he's um, not going to be of, like, appropriate age. He's still just 20. 
But if you want me to get married sooner than later, um, so that I have a third generation, uh, you can you can vote on that. And she's really the only candidate. might make sense to start uh, building the training ground as well so that our uh, our warriors can train doesn't cost a lot of resources I think it's pretty reasonable oh wow Stardale that is a big army you got there You really, as a, uh, as a suzerain, you really throwing some weight around. Glad we have such a, a large alliance to protect us from stuff like that. All right. Uh, team get married seems to be the most popular option so I'm gonna start to that's gonna be the current priority survive smallpox and get married so the get married part means that I'm gonna need to build up a bit of a dowry uh, to be able to afford uh, Salama because the bride's price is pretty high a uh, one way to uh, to earn the money for that would be to raid the bandit camp. So let's take a look at our army and see what kind of condition they're in. So inverted sheep is not wounded. Uh, and most of our most highly skilled mercenaries don't have open wounds either. So let's have them get deployed out to the bandit camp. So taking a look, there's one bandit camp here. I think that's the only active one right now. Uh, we have been policing our territory pretty well. There's a bandit camp in Grizzle Light. Uh, but I don't really care to help them out. And there's a bandit camp out enchantment, which is kind of close to where we're headed. So I could clear that, not to help enchantment, but just for the prisoners and the and the coin. Um. Oops. There we go. Looking good. If she's not monogamous, do I know what uh, traits the heir will have? Uh, it's random. I, I don't know. So it could follow either parent. Averin and Backroad both have strong desires. So uh, Backroad's strong desire is probably to... Uh, Backroad is old enough to become a um, a leader now. And you want to be rewarded. Uh, Backroad's about to get like a whole age up thing in just a second. And Ava Wren is now contemptuous. Oh, that's not good. So. A longtime owner of a large number of Holy Rings means that she might choose to ignore others. I tried to give away the rings as fast as I could. It just, I didn't do it fast enough. Oh well, it happens. All right, she has a desire to see a loved one, which would be the Moon Queen. Uh, but I'm gonna wait to do that because I think I'm about to have the chance to uh, elevate Backroad Runner to a uh, a noble um, sometime today. So I'm just sort of waiting for that to happen. And the army's out, head into the bandit camp.
All right, backward runner can become a lesser lord. Perfect. So we are going to grant the title uh, of Lord to Back Red Runner. And then I can go out to the Moon Queen. Alright. So Back Red Runner is now... Um, uh, a lord, and I am going to immediately reward with rings. There we go. And, uh, back road, you have a teaching of, so you're going to be in a, 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 I'm going to have you start to teach uh, your sibling because you are just have extraordinarily high teaching at the moment and then Averin that lets you off the hook oh uh, peace tree has expired with the winking okay that's fine uh, you are going to be able to go visit your bestie and you guys wanted me to marry off I don't really have the money for that at the moment so I'm going to have to wait but let's go spend time with the moon queen Maybe they'll lower the dowry payments. I don't, I don't know. And there's also a, a conflict between Dust Queen and Tree King. And uh, Colin, how about you go mediate that, supporting the Dust Queen? So we're deploying a lot of people out of the kingdom at the moment. That's fine. I hate the Tree King, so, you know, that's that works for me. All right, new buildings, new managers. No problem. Back road. I'm going to have you start to manage stuff. Back road's a better manager than Colin, even. And that will free up Colin to do kingly things, as he is the heir apparent. Now, the other thing is, Back Road Runner is going to want to get married, but if I marry off Back Road Runner, she leaves our household. So, she's not going to get married. Simple as that. I'm going to have her uh, stay unmarried so that she can help to manage the, the ha home. Uh, Backward Runners just tried to date the bishop. Uh, okay. <laughs> Little, uh... Alright. Alright, so we have a dormitory over here. And the, uh... A warehouse. And, um... The plan was to put rye fields over here. I'll do to ramp up our rye production so that we can have more flour and beer. Workers have not received instructions. Yeah, it's fine because I literally just built those facilities. Okay. So we resolve the conflict between neighbors, denouncing the Tree King, and uh, we have formed a faster relationship with Dust Valley as a result. We have a positive relationship with two of three. I need to work on the relationship a little bit with Wind Peak. Um, it's floundering a bit, so maybe I will have. Um, hmm. An envoy visit from Backroad Runner. Because that's going to be the least expensive method. So I'll backward runner go up to Wind Peak and act as an envoy. Because, you know, I, I don't want to let our uh, alliances lapse. Right, these bandits only have one archer, so I'm just going to hang back and shoot. Oh, two archers. I was wrong about that. Alright. Rush! All right, Sparks Queen likes that. Um, there is bandits here. There's only a camp of two. There's bandits up in Crystal Light, camp of four. 
So maybe I'll go... I'm just going to return home. I'm not going to go on a campaign way outside of my own territory. Because, you know, it leaves me a little bit vulnerable not to have an army nearby. Alright, Everin had her desire fulfilled. Uh, visiting Moon Lake's queen. The Moon Queen. Colon and Backward Runner both have their desires. Well, Back Road didn't have a desire. Looks like the money is rolling in with a uh, pretty good um, uh, surplus. So as soon as Averin wraps up her visit with the Moonlight Queen, I am going to pay the dowry. So here we go. Assigned bride to be married off Salama to Colin. Not very romantic, but you know, we need children. So my treasury is nearly empty as a result of that. Um, but luckily my army's getting home with some um, plunder soon. Wow, that envoy was not very effective. Back road. Is there something else you can do here? I'll have Averin head on out and try to spend some time with their king to uh, to soften their relationship. So Colin's headed up with the dowry for Salama. And again, a uh, little reminder, Salama is the difficult childbirth, uh, reckless heir of Moon Lake, who's a commander. Uh, did that help at all? She spent time there. Uh, no. No, no, no. It didn't. Like, at all. If I had more money, I would do like a peace treaty or something, but I, I don't have more money. <laughs> uh, her time spent with the Wing King, uh, really made things worse, if anything. It happens. We're still allied. Salama has become the wife of Colin, and soon we'll arrive in our city. And, um, our relationship with the Moon Lake has gone up. Which honestly is a point of contention between us and Windpeak, because the more we uh, align ourselves with Moonlake, who's rivaled with um, Windpeak, the more the schism. Okay, I was looking at the potential other brides, and um, yeah, I think we made the right choice, because this one is a Kaiden who's mentally <laughs> impaired. Alright, Back Road has another inspiration. And back road, you want to see someone. Who do you want to see? You want to see Averin? She's returning home, so you're in luck. And she's home, so you just saw her. <laughs> Congrats. That was easy. And the squad has also returned with the war plunder and one prisoner. So we're, our economy uh, is not going to sink, at least immediately. Pretty soon, back road runner will have a fully studied alchemy lab. And then we'll be able to start making our own uh, healing salves, which will be nice. And then Moro discovered a new talent during training. Uh, oh, what did you discover? You are... You discovered that you're nervous? I don't know what you discovered exactly. Uh, oh, what just happened? Noble ruler Averin. So our peace treaty has come to an end. It brought peace and tranquility to our kingdoms. I hope its conclusion will not mark the beginning of wars and hardship between the Star King. Well, we're fine. I wasn't about to attack you. And then, um, Marauders approaching. After recent events, Dusk Queen has been weakened, and now scouts report that a group of Marauders are moving towards, uh, her, not his, her city. And she asks for help. Yeah, no problem. But I am really surprised, as you have, uh, you, you have an army of 21. I don't think you really need my help, but okay. I will, uh, I'll send aid anyway. You know, back road. Uh, actually, I could wait for Salama. That would be a great idea. 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna send aid, but I'm gonna use Salama. And actually, speaking of which, Salama needs to be raffled off. So the reason I want to wait for Salama is Salama's a commander, so she's gonna be exceptionally good at leading troops. Um. So as soon as Salama gets here, uh, we'll uh, we'll have her do that. Wow, Salama, you hate your husband. <laughs> oh no, that's Colm. I misread that. No, it's not Colm. Okay, that's good. All right, we just learned uh, peasant house knowledge, which is uh, we can make use of soon. And that allows us to stop using dormitories, because dormitories don't necessarily keep people happy. Good luck in the raffle. So the peasant houses um, uh, are nicer to live in, so they increase the chance of uh, having loyalists as a result. Thank you for tuning in to Norlin, which originally streamed live on Twitch as a marathon August 17th and August 18th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that this episode was cut from a marathon, meaning that feedback cannot be incorporated. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. And if you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Varn.